Have you ever taken a group photo but didn't have everyone present while taking the picture? You may have thought, I wish I could Photoshop the missing people into the picture, but then learned how expensive Photoshop is. By the end of this video, you will know how to solve this problem by adding part of one picture to another using the free website Photopea. There are five easy steps in the process, and I'll give you a bonus tip at the end of the video. Let's get started. First, we'll upload our photos. Go to photop.com, click File, followed by Open. Navigate to your pictures. My goal is to add the person in the solo photo to the group photo. Hold the Control key to select more than one picture. Then click Open. Each picture becomes a tab in Photop. There's a zoom option on the View tab. The hand tool can be used to reposition your view to focus on part of the picture. Second, a tool will be selected to cut out part of the picture. Here is a summary of three available options. Lasso tool cuts part of the image using click and drag. This is quick, but not precise. You can see how much background was captured instead of just my subject. The next option is Polygonal Lasso Select, found after right-clicking the lasso tool. Repeated clicks around your subject trace the cutout shape. This is more precise, but takes longer. The last cutting tool, which is the one we will use, is called Magic Wand. Right-click Magic Wand and choose Object Selection. Click and drag a frame around the subject. Photop will try to automatically identify contrast between the subject and background to create the cutout border. Click Select Subject and hover over the needed area. For any of these methods, click Refine Edge to preview the cut object. How well did the magic wand identify the subject of your picture? Let me know in the comments. Third, we'll clean up the cut border to prevent the background from appearing. To zoom in, click plus, followed by clicking part of the left image. Use the hand tool to reposition the view of the image. The size of the refinement tool painter can be adjusted. Click and drag with black selected to remove the image. Preview on the right updates when you let go of the mouse. Use white to restore the image. Gray is good for difficult areas like hair. We're almost there. How are we doing? Please click the like button on this video as it will help others discover these tips. Thank you. When you are finished editing, click OK. Fourth, it's time to merge the images. Click the Move tool. Drag the cut image layer to the tab with the other photo. Drag the cut image to the top layer. With the cutout selected as the top layer, click Edit, followed by Free Transform to resize and position the image. Save the edited picture, click File, Export As, JPEG, increase the quality to 100%, then click Save. The new photo will be in your computer's download folder. Before the bonus tip, please take a moment to click the subscribe button. New tech tips that make processes more efficient are uploaded weekly. We're just getting started and could really use the support. Thank you. Today's bonus tip is the raster mask which is a tool that lets you fade two images together with a brush. I'm going to add a day and night photo taken from the same location. We'll drag a layer to the other photo tab. 
Now we'll click Raster Mask, followed by selecting a brush. We'll increase the size of the brush and change the head to Soft Mechanical. The transformation happens instantly as you drag over your picture. Thanks again for watching.